In today's video, I have been compiling this stuff that I have purchased. Um, I'm a consumer, and if you're on my channel, you're a consumer too. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about what I have been spending my money on. Right now, if you see a little bit of smoke in the air, it's my incense, which is um, what it's sitting on. It's something that I purchased. So this video is called, What Does the Quarantine Make Me Buy? Okay, I bought these leggings from Target. It's called All in Motion. These are extra large. I wanted them because I'm a I'm an army fit I'm a fatigue I'm an army fatigue hoe. If I see army fatigue, I want it. I have everything. It's my favorite like um, print. So this is my little beefington with these um, leggings. I love the prints. I think that they are quality. I wish that the design was inside and not white because I, I this this looks kind of really cheap to me. But they don't feel cheap. My only like little beefing tin is that I wish I wear extra large scribe to the idea of having leggings be a small size smaller, even if they stretch out. If they're good quality, they will fit and conform to your body as is. These do feel nice, and I do think that they make my ass and my hips and my legs look amazing i just wish because i i don't really want i didn't purchase these <laughs> i didn't purchase these to work out i purchased them to look cute i'm one of those people that loves athletic year i love going out i'm not a i'm gonna do my errands and jeans kind of girl i'm definitely like i look like i'm going to the gym but i didn't go to the gym and i'm getting my exercise by doing errands kind of girl and these are the leggings that i wanted to like do them in because they're very very cute i just wish i would have sized up but nonetheless they still make me look good i just kind of wish i had something else for leggings i feel that depending on where you're going to wear them out like if you're going to do yoga or you are going to work out or you are going to just run errands i think like you should have a couple different like i have um a couple leggings that are double x that are just like my like i sometimes want to feel tight like a tight conformed kind of look and then sometimes i just want the like a little bit of loose but i want to feel like a little like hugged sometimes sometimes i want leggings to make me feel like i'm being hugged and sometimes i want them to make me look like damn bitch you snatched to the gods if you are a black woman watching my channel then you know about honey pot hold on give me some extra time thank you love okay so this is honey pot um, I have their tampons. I am retiring tampons. Whoa, these are the pads. I am retiring tampons. I just feel like as I'm getting older, I don't want to keep, you know, if you know about tampons, you know how annoying they are and just like, yes, I still have tampons that I'm, I'm not going, the point I'm trying to make is that like, I am not going to go out of my way to continue to purchase tampons, but the ones that I have here, I switch up when, you know, you should have, women, we need everything and i am a type of person that i like variety and i like to have options in every aspect of my life if you know that about me and these are the regular and then these are the heavy duty um overnight ones the heavy duty overnight ones i want to go to bed with these and these i can wear like around the day and then if I mean, I ain't going nowhere, but if I was to go out, I would use a tampon. That's how I like. I'm a panty liner. I like all options. Panty liner, tampon, and pads. And what I like about the company is that, one, it was um, created by a black woman, and she's been doing amazing. And ever since she did her interview on The Breakfast Club, all her products are sold out. So I was even shocked I even got my hands on this. But this is the Super Herbal Infused Pad with Wings. It has mint cooling, lavender calming, and aloe in it. I know some of my girlfriends that I told them about this, they're like, yo, I don't know if I really want that on it. But it feels good to me. It doesn't have any fragrance. It's it's a plant-based company so it says in the packaging so it works for me i haven't had any irritation i haven't had any like problems with it it works really nice and i feel like the cooling minty feeling that's on it helps relax me it's right so the next thing that i purchased from target is the burt's bee purely white fluoride free fluoride free toothpaste this is the zen peppermint so I have been looking for um, the organic kind of clean toothpaste. I like this a lot. Um, I am not going to be 100% clean beauty or 100% like organic. There are certain things that I do want organic. So like my tampons, my toothbrush, my toothpaste, my deodorant. That is that is my whole 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 jam. And that is normally what I will I will I will go towards. I haven't really made the switch with my makeup because most of the stuff is already either clean, but I'm not so gun ho about it. Especially with being in quarantine, I I just feel like it's it's not absolutely necessary, but you do what's best for you. As far as the toothpaste 
Bees. I'm a fan of Burt Bees. Burt's Bees. I have another thing here for Burt's Bees that I don't talk about that I'm in love with. Um, I like this a lot. This is one of those toothpaste that you will notice. I don't feel like my teeth are getting whiter. I think I've I mean, I've always had white teeth. I am very blessed to say that. I'm not a coffee drinker. I don't really drink the, like wine as often. I don't do the things that would stain your teeth as much. I do drink wine, but I don't drink coffee or wine the most like staining things or foods with heavy dye as much as like someone who does that will like benefit so i don't really care that it's pure white it's a plus it's an it's an additive but i don't really need it i like it because my teeth feel really clean this is one of those toothpaste that you got to get a whole three minutes i'm talking about a whole three minutes a whole three minutes in to really see an effect I like that it cleans my tongue it never feels like too too minty and I like that it doesn't really taste like anything and my fluoride freeze because I want to get my third eye open oh that's such a cool is the lemon butter cuticle cream I have been looking for a cuticle oil for the longest I like this a lot it smells like summertime. I mean, like, it's... Have you ever had a lemon cake? Like, lemon cake is so good. I like lemon anything. I even drink lemon water on the regular. I'm a lemon-ass bitch. I have, um... The Healthy Probi Probiotic Deodorant. This is from La Vanilla. I hate this. I, I purchased it, and... The smell is so fucking sexy. It's eucalyptus and it has, I think, vanilla in it. Yeah, vanilla and eucalyptus. That smell together, never, ever, ever sleep on that smell. But I think this is super duper hyped up. When I worked at Sephora, I stared at this for the entire year and a half that I worked at Sephora. I stared, not at this specific flavor, but like I stared at this brand all the time and I was like, one day I'm going to buy it. One day I'm going to buy it. And I never did. And that's what happens when you don't trust your intuition. I saw this on Target. It was 20% off and it came up to like, I think, $9.00. Or something like that and I thought I was gonna be head over heels the the ratings were a little bit mixed but I was like let me take a chance if I could I would return this I don't think that this was really like so worth it seems over the next thing that I got um, are these little shavers the beauty supply store in my hood is not open it has been open for like two months and the only reason that my brows look as good as they do is because I've maintenance them with these these were like four dollars and this was in the men's section and I think this is really good to have while you're in quarantine if you you know taking care of yourself as a woman is like crucial to your own I think self happiness and for me I constantly want to um, feel good and like I notice when I let myself go I was just like I I felt, I felt like I was getting depressed like I don't want to feel that way and so the nail shop ain't open the brow play lady ain't open the beauty supply like what are we gonna do what are we gonna do targets open and I if you are a target person if you work to target thank you guys for being open you are my essential worker I am a consumer I'm not ashamed of that I, I'm definitely bringing a, the economy in America I keep it going because that's just the kind of bitch that I am and I, I like I like um, I have this nail hardener that I use this definitely transform my nails if you know about um, Kimika Alchimica then you you've seen this I feel like this is like a hood favorite as well it's about like nine or ten bucks if you Google, if you go on Amazon and just type in like green, green nail hardener, I promise this will show up. This is about twelve or thirteen dollars. I can't believe I got this a month ago during like the when the crisis really, really, really like hit, <laughs> and um, it has made my nails stronger in so like 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 such a short time. I want to say within like a week, I felt a difference in my nails. They're not for growth. I need to find something to help. I'm a grow. huge advocate for apothecary, which is basically the study of herbalism. And I take a mug, I take a bunch of the stuff, but the things that I've recently bought is mugwort, and then I have um skull cap. Skull cap is like a herb, an herbal remedy that helps promote relaxation and sleep. Doesn't do it sleep for me just because I have already a normal sleep schedule which happens after midnight even though I want it to be better than that but I need sometimes relaxation what I like about skull cap is if you're feeling the pressure or the tension in your body at, at your shoulders it will help like alleviate that and then get you to get you to rest and so I take one or two of these a day sometimes I don't take it but if I'm feeling really like intense I take this or another another 
a pill that I have I don't take Tylenol I don't take any mito I don't take anything for like I am completely off of like Western medicine when it comes to pain or it comes to any kind of ailments of stress or, or sickness like that I try to find something as natural uh, or, or natural or holistic an alternative medicine is like my jam and if you ever need any help sound down in the comment or you can always email me I'm glad to help um and then my what I take just because I love dreaming and so I'm always trying to induce um, a dream state of mind I like to know like what is coming up from my subconscious mind and the mugwort with a with a with a meal always sets me in emotion and I wake up with a with a cool dream I'm trying to write them down but sometimes it just happens so from urban the last thing I got from urban was this t-shirt as you guys know um, I'm super duper into astrology so this shirt was like really up my eye up my eye it says transcend and it's got the stars the moon and the planets on it and I I just love it I just I got this for like 20 bucks on um, Urban Outfitters um, I bought this kit I needed to spend $50 <laughs> I didn't want to spend five dollars on shipping so what do you do you spend more money so the last thing I got um, is this uh, I got this which is an astrology themed ashtray and I was like this is perfect because I have incense and it has a little hole that I can just stick my incense right there and it's got a little Sun on it this flash um, flash camera from Fuji it's got 27 is how many photos are in there I have no idea Probably 27, 10 feet, flash rain, who knows. So I bought this because my sentimentalness is that <laughs> when this is all said and done, I miss my friends and family so much and I'm doing the best to keep my head before water. Like I can shop, I can watch TV, I can FaceTime, I can do all these things to either distract myself or get closer to my family and friends but there's nothing like being in the presence of the people that you love and being in quarantine has made me miss everybody and I wish I was you know socializing, getting my nails done, do it like I wish I was continuing to live life but I know that Mother Earth is probably sick and tired of us and we are being transformed into another their like dimension in which life has to be different like we are the tides are changing and I'm excited for that but in the meantime you know a lot of us are home lonely watching videos like right here right now on this channel and for me I think what um, excites me is that the future is going to be different and I think when I am able to spend time with my friends and family I want to capture those memories in a very old-school way because I know when, when the time changes when that moment comes of where we're supposed to be you know I'm not gonna want to be on my phone but I will want to create some memory and I thought what a cool idea to maybe use this camera when we are allowed to go back outside. That's everything. I'm done shopping guys. I promise you the next thing I'm going to buy is a house. <laughs> and then I will record that video as well. Thanks for coming to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.